For the pumping service last year, the profit I had was $18,000. This year, profit that I'm going to have is going to be $19,000. For the propane deliveries, we did it for one year, $14,800. For the van services, for the eight month, $22,400 my profit. I submitted 70 plus proposals to win six contracts. Just keep submitting. Don't give up. I've Vic with us today. He's a special guest. Not only has he recently won contracts, but he's going to share some of his mistakes, lessons learned. So you are all in for a treat. Welcome to the channel, Vic. Thank you so much, Doctor, and thank you for having me. Anytime. It's such an honor. And I'm just, again, so appreciative because you're you're going to share so much with us. So how did you even get into government contracting before we talk about the mistakes and lessons learned? Well, as we know, there's a movie out there, and I don't want to mention the movie name. Back in 2020, I registered as a vendor with the federal government, but I did not send any proposals. So I used my LSC name to start Amazon FBA. I started doing a private labeling. Then I came across this one person who became my mentor. He was a federal government contractor and he told me that, hey, you're doing private labeling with a kitchen product. Why not? You can sell stuff to the government. And end of 2022, I got the second EA LLC. That's when I started bidding and winning federal contract. Wow. So second year. 2022, that's when I started. I, 2022 was my first year sending proposals wow that's amazing that's amazing because you didn't give up and that's fast and so what was your first win my first win was with the cbp custom border protections they added 10 vans to transfer inmate and it was six month contract and it was in san diego how wow and vans to transport inmates how was that like what was that contract like and and would you do it again? Definitely, I will do it again. But the thing is, I started submitting a lot of proposals and I forgot when they told me that this is a one letter. So I have to go back to check the emails for which solicitation was the award because I submitted 70 plus proposals to win six contracts. Yes. And this one was my first contract providing 10 bands for the uh, custom board protection officers transfer inmate. It was six month contract, seven days a week. I found the subcontractor, we partnered up together and we did the job. Wow, that's, that's terrific. And I love that you submitted 70, 70 bids you submitted. And then you said you won six or seven. Six, I don't want to count this year, but in total with the last year, it was five contract. But out of those contract, I have two contract where I actually, they contacted me. To provide the service yes so they contacted me to provide the service i thought it was a scam and i told them to send me an email to verify it and it was a legit email and it was for the national forest oh and what did you provide for them so for national forest i provided uh, that was a mistake again with the national forest i'll talk about it to provide septic pumping services and we finished that contact december this year last year december and February this year, they contacted me back. They asked me to send them a price for another septic pumping service. And I won a contract again with them for the same service for the same location. Wow. Okay. So let's just, let's just jump into everything because I love this. That's, you learned about it. It may not have immediately started bidding, but then you start, you get in, you bid, you're bidding on 70. You have these wins, which is still a good win rate. I, in my opinion, anything, listen, one is better than zero. That's how, that's my philosophy. And it's, you know, it's about profit, it's about experience. So I love this. Then you're bidding, you did the smartest thing ever. When somebody said, hey, we want to do work with you. You're like, okay, email, which is great because sometimes it does happen. The government might call you. So that's great that you did that. Then they wanted you again because you did such a great job. Mm -hmm. so it was not active solicitation. So right. Out there. Right. Was like a, really which makes it better because it could have been a simplified acquisition. It could have been a sole source. Like however they decided to award it to you, they knew you were the answer. That's true. And now I have another 20 pumps with them for another six months for the sake. So where did the, what are these mistakes and where did they come in during all of this? I want to mention the big mistake that happened to me was my second contract where I won. So the second contract, it was for one year, mm -hmm. but we were going to do propane delivery services. So the first six months was 14,800 gallons of propane to be delivered. Then we would take a break for a month and a half. Then we deliver another 14,800 gallons of propane. So I found the sub 
We submitted the proposal and I won the contract. Amazing. And I received the email from the point of contact saying that, hey, we know that it was mentioned after winning the contract, you have 30 days to provide the training, the tanks. The when the point of contact, he sent an email saying that we know that we said you have 30 days to do the training tanks. And I'm reading through the email, I'm saying training tanks? What tanks? And I called the point of contact. I was like, I received your email about the training tanks. And the contracting officer was like, yes, I know we mentioned you have 30 days, but we needed ASAP. Send someone to drain those tanks. And I was like, okay, I will definitely send someone. So I went back to the solicitation, going through the files, and it was mentioned. You have eight big tanks that after winning the contract, you have 30 days to drain those tanks. And then they're going to storage those tanks. And I was like, oh, I did not mention this to the sub. So I called the sub. I was like, I have an issue. Okay. I received the email. It was my fault that there is eight tanks to be drained. And the sub was like, draining for what? If we're going to provide the 14,800 gallons, why are they going to drain it? I was like, well, they need to drain those tanks. They are big for storage. And he's like, okay, give me 30 minutes. I'll call you back because this is different price. We did not add those price with the delivery or 14,800. So he came up, he called me back. He's like, okay, I'm not going to charge you for the draining. I'm just going to charge you $500. going to send the guys out there. So one day it's going to take a day to drain those tanks and we will finish it. And I called uh, the point of cut. I was like, when do you want us to come to do the draining? He's like, whenever you want, the sooner the better. So a day or two, we sent the guys, they went up there and they drained those tanks. That was one of the biggest mistakes where I felt too comfortable. I die, I know everything. I don't want to go through all those files, reading it. I thought I'm going to just read a couple of places where I need to read, which is the scoop of work, the instruction to offer. I want to get to go, but it's a mistake. If you have the files, make sure you read the solicitation, reread the solicitation. If you have someone that you trust, let them read it just in case if you miss something. That was, it's a big mistake. Wow. I, you know, it was a big mistake, but also you have the, the grace of God there because they said it was only $500. It wasn't like 5050 500 No, and I paid out of pocket. The 500 out of pocket, it was not and the uh, subcontracting agreement that I have with them. So that this was a different price and I have to pay out of pocket. Oh, well, that's tremendous. I mean, and you still went with it. You didn't say, oh, I'm now going to exit government contracting. And I want to talk about the third mistake that happened to me, which is this one was the one that they contacted me to provide the service. And then they asked me to do a septic pumping if I do it. And I was like, his name is Kevin. I was like, Kevin, just email me. And I hanged up the phone and he emailed me directly. And I said, it's a legit email. They want 20 pumps, 15,000. No, yeah, 1,500 to 3,000 gallons to be pumped. And it was scheduled. They're going to text me whenever they want the pump. And I'm going to send them to do the pump. Fine. I found the sub and everything was smooth. Two weeks, three weeks later, I went the contract. I won the contract, but this is the issue what happened. So I won the contract. I contacted the sub to make the agreement. I sent them the agreement and he signed it and he sent it back to me. And I did not sign it yet. The job was good. Well, the first pump was on Friday and I texted him Thursday that good morning. Tomorrow is going to be the first day of the pump. Make sure you be there at 8 a.m. to do the pump. He was happy. I was happy. The next day morning come 6 a.m. I takes him. Hey, good morning. In two hours, you're gonna do the first pump to make sure that he knows that he's gonna do the first pump. He will happy. Eight, eight o'clock comes. I didn't call him. Nine, ten, eleven. I'm still waiting for his phone call to see how was the first pump, and he's not calling. So I called him, calling and calling and calling him. He's not picking up. I'm texting him. He's not answering my text messages, and I have no other choice to call the seal. I called the seal. I can tell by her voice she was already pissed, and she's like, "What are you at?" And I was like, oh, my bad. I lost the connection with my employee. I can't trap the track because the pump is in the mountain. It, you really can lose the truck because it's a mountain. You don't have a Wi-Fi, the cell phone. And she was like, no, your guy is not here. I'm still waiting. We do need the pump. And I was like, I apologize. Give me a couple of hours. I'm going to send the second truck to do the pump. So I hanged up the phone. I went back on my list to see what sub I contacted. So I contacted the second one and the second sub was like, we cannot do it today. We can do it tomorrow. We don't have a time for right now. And I was like, no, please, this is an emergency. We do need the pump right now. Can you do it? 
And he was like, okay, I will do it. But for this pump, I'm not going to do it in the 30. You're going to pay me right away. I was like, not a problem. If you can do the pump right now, I will direct deposit you, sell you the money, whatever you want. Just do the pump. So he went up there and he did the pump. Four or five hours later, the first sub, he contacted me like, hey, I was lost. Let me go up there and do the pump. I was like, no, you don't need it. So this mistake that I learned that Google review and this person, he had a bad reviews, bad reviews. The complaining, he doesn't pick up the phone. He doesn't answer the text messages. He does the job. He leave it empty and he leaves. He doesn't come back one week, two weeks. So always pay attention to the Google reviews because it's going to help uh it doesn't even if it's cheap sometimes cheap you think is good but it's not good cheap is not good and google reviews they don't like and it happened to me well he did not pick up my phone calls he did not answer my text messages for an hours wow and the the brilliant part is you went back to the list yes you're able to negotiate they said we're not doing that 30 you're like i'll pay you it doesn't matter however you want it zell cash app like i got you i love that and i love the lesson there's so many lessons here I love the Google reviews because people don't really talk about it. It's how do you find a sub? Facebook marketplace, go on Google, go on Angie's list, go on LinkedIn. You know, we, there's a lot of this talk about where to find, but then we rarely talk about, well, get references or look at their reviews because we're so in the moment to get a figure that we're not even thinking about, well, how many stars do they have? And then the reviews are right about that company. You know, like they were totally right. Whenever in the reviews it says that he does the job, he leave it halfway and he doesn't come back. It takes weeks to come back. He doesn't answer the phone. He doesn't answer. It. it happened to me two hours before doing the punk. He was not answering the phone. He was not texting back for five hours, four hours. Then the second sub, he did an amazing job. We finished the contract December. December 31st was the last day with him and February this year, they sent me the paper, uh, the 1449 to redo the pricing, and which I did. And I won the second 20 pounds for another six months. And I contacted the same sub, but we did not do any agreement because the trust that I have with each other, that's, I don't need to do an agreement. I trust him, he trusts me, and that's how I'm doing it right now. And then you got the additional contract. So in total with the work that you've won so far, which is in a short amount of time, which is, which I love. Yeah. About how much, how many money? So I have to write it down because I don't remember. Is that, is that okay? Yeah, and okay, like, so, hey, I'm a sticky person, so I, I, you, you got my. So for the for the propane deliveries, we did it for one year, fourteen thousand eight hundred. The first six months, then we took a break, a month and a half. Then we did another fourteen thousand eight hundred. So for that, the sub was charging me a dollar fifty for uh, each gallon, and I just put fifty cent on top of it. I don't know why it's too low, but I put fifty cent on top of it. I'm not doing this mistake no more. I'm doubling my price. But for this one, I put a 50 cent and I'm like, if I win, if I win, let's see. And I won the contract. So 50 cent, $7,400 for uh, the 14,800. So times two, which is 14,800 for the propane. And for the pumping service, the first year, which is, was the last year, the sub was charging me 550. But the first sub, the one that we had bad relationship was charging me 450 for each pump. But when I submitted my proposal, I put 1450 because I spoke with my mentor and he was like, if it's not published, then just double your price and send it. That's what I did. So he was charging me 450. I charged the government 1450. If I won, if I won and I won the catch, then the second sub, he charged me 550. So for last year, the profit I had was $18,000 for the pumps, for 20 pumps. This year, they sent me the 1449 form at $50 on my price. So instead of charging 1450, I'm doing 1500 for the each pump. And I asked the sub like, hey, you feel comfortable doing the same price? He did not change his price. He kept the price the same, which is 550. Now for this year, the pumping profit that I have, I'm gonna have is gonna be 19. I love this and I commend you and that was such great advice you received because anytime an agency comes direct to us you have way more leeway with the pricing in comparison to when it's on sam.gov it's on unison or even if it's on a contract vehicle so that was brilliant that you increased the price plus sometimes when we see such a low price it's like what are we really getting you know so you by having that type of a price it's very fair it's fair and reasonable so that's awesome 
Perfect. Then uh, I forgot to mention I had uh, for the van services that we provided uh, for the CVP officers. So the sub was charging is 60 bucks and for each van times that 10 and I was charging the government $10 extra. I was charging 70 bucks for each van and my total for the van was for the eight month $22,400 uh, my profit. That is amazing. So what kind of work are you bidding on right now? What kind of work? It? To be honest, it's everything. But my main focus is I love to do energy, which is uh, propane. And that's what I love. Gas, propane, diesel. It's hard. It's not easy. I built another contract. This one was an international one. It's, it's for JP8 fuel, which is jet fuel. Location is in Middle East, in Iraq. I did not win the contract, but that was my first international proposal. And I was happy. I was like, okay, that's fine. You know, now I know if uh, anything happened for international, I know how to submit proposals for international contract. But for now, I'm focusing on everything. Septic pumping, propane contract. I'm doing portable bathroom contracts to provide portable bathrooms anything services i'm focusing on services not product i don't like to work on product i like to do services because it's a long term and you learn more no i i love this i love all of this i love because you're passionate about it like it's easily a market where you can really penetrate and sorry for my movement alexa was calling me so i i use her way too much so where do you primarily find those that type of work? Is it in just California, out west, or is it all over you? I mean, clearly it's worldwide, but is there a particular place where you find yes. more than others? I love California. I'm <laughs> from LP and I do focus on California. My mainly is focusing on California contract. I don't know why they say, well, don't focus on your backyard. I love it. I just love it because I want to know, okay, I can drive a couple of hours to see the job. I feel happy. That's what happened with the septic pump and I drove up there to just check it. I know I'm not doing the job, but I just want to check on the guys to see how is the septic pumping service is going. And uh, the propane, again, it's in California, San Diego, but unfortunately I could drive this three, four hours far from me. Yeah, but it's great though, because they must really appreciate the fact that you're there, like you're in the state. And then we have a lot of good reputation and relationship with the government and with the subs, of course. I'm never late, always on time especially with the pay. They say you have to wait 30 days to pay the sub. That's my agreement with the sub. But I usually do it before the 30 to make them happy. I love that. I love that. And what other kind of lessons can you share with us that you've experienced winning the contracts, engaging with contracting officers, engaging with subs, invoicing, all of that? What are, what are kind of the top three where you're like, everyone, you need to be aware of these lessons? Just be honest with the CEOs, the point of contact some people they're scared to talk to them oh, i'm not scared i always pick up the phone if i have an issue i always pick up the phone i call them hey and i don't lie this is this is what happened my employee got stuck i'm not going to be able to do it right now give me a couple of hours i will send the second sub or i will send the second truck i don't usually mention the sub but the second lesson i learned don't act that you know everything that the way i did for the propane contract i thought i don't have to go because some okay so some solicitation, there is one PDF file. Some solicitation, there is 20 PDF files. And for the propane one, was a lot of files. And I was not going to go through all of them. I picked and choose which one I'm going to go through. And that's what I did, which is wrong. Always go from, take the file. Sometimes it's 10 pages, sometimes it's 90 pages. It doesn't matter. Go through it, read those files, reread it. Especially the scoop of work. Whatever is mentioned out there, the limitation on subcontracting. You got to pay attention on that. Don't act that you know everything read reread your solicitation and if you have someone that you trust let them read it for you so you on the right page you don't make the mistake i got lucky that he charged me 500 dollars to do the training tanks if he mentioned a thousand for each tank that was eight thousand dollar eight tanks i was gonna lose the contract because it was my fault and yeah read reread the trust your reputation don't lie be honest and always let them know that was going on because some people like i said some people are scared uh, in the beginning i was scared from the ceos i always emailed them i didn't want to talk to them then i i then i start calling them now it's normal i see a solicitation i don't understand i'm gonna pick up the phone i don't care 10 times 20 times i'm gonna call the ceo as a, i love that i love that the the transition and because at the end of the day ceos all of these people are just human beings oh yes that's true 
you know, they're just human beings and especially contracting officers. They're there to make these acquisitions on behalf of their clients and their clients are the different agencies and departments and divisions and all of those things. So I love that you do that. What would you recommend to somebody who's like how you were? You heard about it. Maybe they got a cage code. Maybe they haven't done anything yet. They're like, wow, I didn't even know this energy kind of area was of uh, an option. What advice do you have to that person that's kind of like the newcomer, the start, the person just starting out? Well, how can you best help them? Just don't give up and don't lose hope because in this environment, in this business, it's all about submitting. I submitted seven. I, I lost the count. I'm being honest. I lost the count how many proposals I've submitted. I'm just submitting and going to the next, going to the next, going to the next. I was back in the days I was printing each solicitation and I end up with a bucket like this. I like, no, 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 I'm not going to print no more. I'm not going to print no more. So I start submitting and saving it to my drive, Google drive. Just keep submitting. You're not going to win the first one. Of course, you think you're going to submit the first one. You're going to sit and wait. That's not going to happen because some solicitations you submit and it takes two to three months to win the contract. It takes a time to get awarded. Some solicitation is better the next day you win. Some, no. Some, it takes time until you win, until you start doing the job. Just keep submitting and don't lose hope and don't give up. It's very simple. Giving up is simple. But keep submitting, keep submitting, keep pushing. Just keep doing the same thing. It's all over again. It's the same thing. Keep doing it. I love that. I love that advice because it's so true. And if anyone wants to reach out to you, Vic, is the Facebook group the best place? Where can somebody reach out to you? I have my, mainly, my Facebook is like a little bit private for okay. families, but uh, I have my Instagram is open or my TikTok is open. Okay. So am, you said TikTok and? Instagram, which is TikTok and Instagram, same username as King. King Vigo is K I N G V I G O is the same username. Yes, because you're, oh, I, I recognize your, I mean, we've talked on Facebook, we've talked on TikTok. I'm just so proud of you because it beyond shows what's possible, but I love everything about what you're doing. I love the management, I love the client relations, I love how you're handling accounts receivable, payable. I love everything. And I'm just so excited and proud of you. But we definitely have to do another video because. In a couple of years, this is this is going to be multi-million. Appreciate you, appreciate you, doctor. And you are my motivation too. I watched all your YouTube videos, and especially now you're doing lives on TikTok. I love it. I love it. Thank you. Yeah, I'm gonna keep. It's, it's gonna be even more. Y'all are gonna be like, "Wow, does she does she sleep? Is she is there a clone of Kizzy?" But no, I appreciate you because you take action. Like you take action, and you're helping the client. I mean, I can I can. When you were telling the story, I could just picture like the guy driving is all lost, and his tank is way over here, and and like they just need it done, and and it's like who wants to drive up there, and and it's just like you did it, and you gave them peace of mind. You gave them a solution. It's like, that's beautiful. And especially with Lulu, he, he taught me a lot of stuff too. So I want to give a shout out to Lulu and yeah, Curb, really, he helped me a lot too. Oh, good. I want to tell him. Yeah. And for any of you who are watching, like what? Lulu is an, he's an active duty military member and contracting officer who's deployed and out of the kindness of his heart, he provides free advice and answers questions to, not only through my lives on TikTok, but on his page. He has a YouTube page. His name, his name is, first name is Jonathan. So it's really cool that he does that. And he doesn't represent, of course, the government as he's providing the advice. I'm so glad and I'm grateful for that. This is exciting. I love it. I love it when you and Lulu do a live meeting on TikTok. I just put my headphones on and just listen. That's what I do. Oh, great, great. I love it because he, he provides so much good information. Like, and it's not just the best part is it's not just information. You're like, OK, but we're all learning. Like there's things he sure shared where I'm like, oh, that's when that happens. And because where else do you get that? You know, there are to my knowledge. I know there's other contracting officers on social. They'll pop up every now and again in my Facebook yeah. group or somewhere but i don't know anybody else like a lulu that's his handle on tiktok that is constantly giving no true i have a couple of contracting offices too they're not that active uh but yeah they're not that active. that's true they're not that active so well i again thank you so much for being here for being interviewed for sharing your successes the different things you've overcome, all the tips. And I want people to know, just please contact him. Also check out my book, winnerswaybook.com. 
winnerswaybook.com and join the Facebook group and just don't give up. That's the end of the day. Just don't give up on yourself. Don't give up. Keep submitting. One proposal is not going to help you. 70 plus, 70 plus proposals, probably more than 70 right now, but don't give up. Keep submitting. Read your solicitation. Read the solicitation and you're going to win. You definitely will. You will. You're going to win. And then you're going to win over and over again. So it's amazing. So again, thank you so much. And don't forget, everybody, like, subscribe, hit the notification button, and everything is possible. Take care. Thank you so much, Doctor. Thank you.